Hello friends and today we are going to study a numerical which is based on a types of Fourier series that is a trigonometric Fourier series that we are going to study first. Now first of all let's see the question and then we'll move on to solution. <music> problem number one determine the trigonometric form of Fourier series of given signal or given waveform this is the waveform now look at here we have studied a different types of symmetry we have studied half wave symmetry full wave symmetry or symmetry even symmetry so now look at it this is the function x of t well this function x of t is having half wave symmetry even symmetry as well as a quarter wave symmetry which means the value of a naught and b n value is zero so we are going to calculate only a n value so let's see what is the formula of n basically first of all we will write the question or we will write the function value that is x of t value like here from minus t by 2 to t by 2 it changes its value from minus a to a and from again a to minus a which means it is having a different values in different time periods or you can say in different intervals so first of all we'll write the equations of x of t for different time intervals and then we'll move on to coefficient a n now as i said this graph or this x of t shows us or gives us even symmetry half wave symmetry and quarter wave symmetry so i can say that my a zero and b n constant value is zero So what I have mentioned a naught and b n value is 0 because x of t is having even symmetry half wave symmetry and quarter wave symmetry. Now so we are going to calculate only a last coefficient that is a n and my a n formula is zero to t by 2 x of t cos of n omega t dt. So we will solve only this part because my a is 0 and b n value is 0. But before moving to this, we will calculate first of all x of t equation. Now we are going to calculate the a n coefficient. Our integration limit for a n is 0 t by 2. But in 0 to t by 2, our x of t changes its value from a to minus a. Which means we can write the x of t equation like in between 0 to t by 4, this x of t is having amplitude a whereas from t by 4 to t by 2 it is having amplitude minus a look at here in between 0 to t by 4 we are having a positive amplitude and from t by 4 to t by 2 we are having a negative amplitude that is minus a so we are going to write the equation for x of t in between 0 to t by 4 and t by 4 to t by 2 whereas our amplitude is a and minus a respectively So look at it, what I have written, my x of t is having amplitude a in between 0 to t by 4 and having minus amplitude that is minus a from t by 4 to t by 2. Now look at here, if I say my graph is started from 0, means what? This is how we have a one fourth of positive cycle. So where is our next one fourth positive cycle? Next one fourth positive cycle completes at perfectly t. So I can say that my total time period of this x of t is t. The another way to find out time period is look at here at this point like at minus t by 4 our first half of positive cycle is started and at t by 4 the first half cycle is completed. Now the next negative half cycle is started from t by 4 and it will complete at 3t by 4. So if we add both these value 3t by 4 minus t by 4 what you will get answer will be a complete t. So which means our total time period of this x of t is t only. So we will substitute all this value in a n formula. So first of all what is my time period? The time period is t and what is the formula of a n? We have written that formula on last page which is 
4 by at t naught 0 to t by 2 cos of n omega naught t into dt. Now we will substitute all the values of time period in this graph. We will substitute my x of t values in this integration whereas my t naught value is t. Now my x of t is having two values that is a and minus a but in between 0 to t by 4 and from t by 4 to t by 2. So my integration limit will also change to 0 to t by 4 and t by 4 to t by 2. And in between 0 to t by 4 we will substitute x of t value as a and from t by 4 to t by 2 we will substitute x of t value as minus a. And here my t naught value is t. Here both the sets we have a constant so from here we will take a common and from here I will take minus a common and then I will integrate the whole cos of t or you can say cos of n omega naught t. Now look at here on both the sets we have a and minus a constant so I can take this a and minus a outside and then we will integrate cos of n omega 0 naught t first of all from 0 to t by 4 with respect to t and on second side we will integrate from t by 4 to t by 2 with respect to t. I have taken a and minus a common. Now integration of cos of n omega t what is the integration of cos of n omega t? Of course it is sin n omega t upon n omega. I will repeat. Integration of cos of x t with respect to t is always sin x t upon x. So here my x value is n omega naught. So the integration is always sin n omega naught t upon n omega naught. Now look at here on both the sets we have a so I will take a common now we will substitute these two limits first of all we will substitute upper limit and minus will substitute a lower limit. Now look at here in denominator of both these side we have n omega naught common so I will take it outside. Now we will substitute upper limit and lower limit here also we will substitute upper limit and lower limit one by one. First of all this t is replaced by t by 4 so I have written t by 4. And the second time this t is replaced by 0 and 0 into anything is always 0. So I have written sin 0. Now I will substitute next limits in this format or in this sine wave. Now what is omega naught? Basically the our omega naught value we have calculated the total time period value which was t naught equals to t. So my omega naught value you can write this also or else in our function we have choose this omega naught. So my omega naught value is 2 pi by t naught and my t naught value is t. So I can say that my omega naught value is 2 pi by t. So I am going to replace all this omega naught by 2 pi by t. Now look at here we have substituted my omega naught value which is 2 pi by t. So here also we have substituted the same and we know that sin 0 is always 0 so that value I have substituted over here. Now look at here this t and this t will get cancelled this 2 will divide this 4 and the answer is 2. Similarly this all this t will get cancelled 
now this two will divide will get cancelled and this two will divide this four and you will get answer two here also you will get answer two so what you will get at the end here you will get only 2a in dn order we will write n pi only now what about equation now in first bracket we will have only sin n pi by 2 now this minus sign will applied inside this bracket so first time we'll have a minus sign and this is going to be this t t get cancelled this 2 2 will also get cancelled so we have only sign n pi now and at the end we will write minus minus become plus now here also we will have sin n pi by 2 now we know that sin n pi is always 0 so we will substitute this value over here so i can say that sin n pi by 2 sin n pi by 2 becomes twice and this 2 will mix or changes this value to 4 now this is the value of n but still this whole sign is depends on the value of n if this value is even and if this value is or then the sign value changes to zero or gives us value zero or any integer value so let's substitute the different values of n for first of all we'll substitute n even and then we'll substitute different values of n for odd now this is our result but still this n can change the value of sign if this n is even then sign wave will produce a different output and if this n is having odd value then also it will produce some different value so let's see what are the different values you will get after substituting n even and n values as a odd now suppose if i substitute n equals to even that is if i substitute sin n n equals to 0 so sin 0 is always 0 let's say if i substitute n equals to 2 then 2 2 gets cancelled we will have a sin n pi and i know we know that let's say my n is even now my function of a n is suppose if i consider my n value is 0 then sin whole theta becomes 0 and sin 0 is always 0 now we will substitute different value let's say my next even value is 2 so if I, I replace this n by 2 then 2 to get cancelled we will have only sin pi n again sin pi is also 0 so I can say that sin n pi by 2 for all the values of n is having value 0 so now we will substitute n value as a odd so first of all I will substitute n equals to 1 now this n equals 1 so sin pi by 2 sin pi by 2 is having value 1 so my a n value is 4a by pi because i have substituted my n value as 1 now my next odd value is 3 so sin 3 pi by 2 is minus 1 so what we will get 4a upon 3 pi but we will have a minus sign Now similarly, I will substitute next two values. Let's say for n equals to 5. This n is replaced by 5. Sin 5 pi by 2 is 1. This n is also replaced by 5. So we will get 4a upon 5 pi. Now we will substitute different value that is 7. So sin n this n is replaced by 7 so sin 7 pi by 2 is minus 1 here also this n is replaced by 7 so my answer is minus of 4a upon 7 pi so now i'll substitute only these four values from this equations or from this substitution what you will get we can say that we are having n values or you can say that we will have a non-zero finite values so from this five or four samples i can say that we will have 
a non zero of finite values for all the n odd numbers if i substitute n odd in this formula in a n formula or in a n equation you will get the non zero finite answer but for n equals to 1 n equals to 5 and n equals to 9 and so on we will have a positive value whereas for n equals to 3 n equals to 7 n equals to n we will have a negative values but the numbers remain same so i'll keep this equation as it is but you will get the output only for odd so my x of t equation that is a final equation of fourier series is so we can substitute only odd values in this formula so that you will get a non zero value so we'll write the trigonometric form of fourier series and it is x of t is equal so we we have actually uh, a0 and bn value is equal to 0 so we can only substitute my n values and here my n value is odd or you can say that my summation value is only applicable for odd number of n here my an value is and this is the trigonometric form of fourier series so that's all for now we will study a new numerical in next video so thank you for watching this video stay tuned to ekda and subscribe to ekda for further more videos